Mark, Chapter 8 In those days, when there was a very great multitude, and had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him, and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now continued with me three days, and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they would faint by the way, for some of them came from far. Then his disciples answered him, Whence can a man satisfy these with bread here in the wilderness? And he asked them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven. Then he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves, and gave thanks, brake them, and gave to his disciples to set before them. And they did set them before the people. They had also a few small fishes. And when he had given thanks, he commanded them also to be set before them. So they did eat, and were sufficed, and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. And they that had eaten were about four thousand. So he sent them away. And anon he entered into a ship with his disciples, and came into the parts of Dalmanutha. And the Pharisees came forth, and began to dispute with him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, and tempting him. Then he sighed deeply in his spirit, and said, Why doth this generation seek a sign? Verily I say unto you, A sign shall not be given unto this generation. So he left them, and went into the ship again, and departed to the other side. And they had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them but one loaf. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, and of the leaven of Herod. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. And when Jesus knew it, he said unto them, Why reason you thus? Because ye have no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand? Have ye your hearts yet hardened? Have ye eyes, and see not? And have ye ears, and hear not? And do ye not remember? When I break the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of broken meat took ye up? They said unto him, Twelve. And when I break seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of the leavings of broken meat took ye up? And they said, Seven. Then he said unto them, How is it that ye understand not? And he came to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man unto him, and desired him to touch him. Then he took the blind by the hand, and led him out of the town, and spat in his eyes, and put his hands upon him, and asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up, and said, I see men, for I see them walking like trees. After that he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look again, and he was restored to his sight, and saw every man afar off clearly. And he sent him home to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. And Jesus went out, and his disciples, into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, Some say John Baptist, and some Elijah, and some one of the prophets. And he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Then Peter answered, and said unto him, Thou art that Christ. And he sharply charged them, that concerning him they should tell no man. Then he began to teach them, that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and should be reproved of the elders, and of the high priests, and of the scribes, and be slain, and within three days rise again, and he spake that thing boldly. Then Peter took him aside, and began to rebuke him. Then he turned back, and looked on his disciples, and rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou understandest not the things that are of God, but the things that are of men. 
And he called the people unto him with his disciples, and said unto them, Whosoever will follow me, let him forsake himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, and the gospel's, he shall save it. For what shall it profit a man, though he should win the whole world, if he lose his soul? Or what exchange shall a man give for his soul? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words among this adulterous and sinful generation, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed also when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels.